Hello, I'm Coco Grace. Welcome to the Coco Grace Kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> like, subscribe, and share. Yeah, watch carefully the cooking. Uh, this dish from Angola and the neighboring country, Congo and Zambia as well. They do cook a pundu as well. In Congo, they call it a pondu. In Angola, we call it a kizaka. Hold on, yeah, kizaka. Yeah, in Congo as well, they call it a sombe. Maybe there in Congo, sombe. They call it a, uh, some people they call it sakasaka, some people they call it matamba, some people they call it uh, uh, cassava leaf. Yes, it's the cassava. Yeah, I want now to present you this is the cassava leaf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have cassava leaf that one uh, cost me £4.50, I think. One is like a one bowl. Five, uh, I think it's five uh, hundred uh, five. No, 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 it's five hundred gram. Yeah, time free. It's like a one kilo and a half. Yeah, it's like a four fifty. One pack is, uh, I think they're selling it to one pound fifty. These are fresh fish, these are fish. I boil it, uh, I boil it with, with, with the onions and some uh, uh, vegetable oil just to to infuse like a, a, the taste and something like that I want but you can put it in kizaka or pundu or in cassava or you can put it on uh, on the top of it then it, when it boil you remove the fish then you take off the bone but i didn't want to do that because sometimes i will lose the fish sometimes it's inside i will not you know when you finish you see the bone inside i like to put it separate but now there's a small sauce sorry there's a small sauce i'll put in it the whole thing i'll put it in 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 a bundle pot these are i can show you first this one these are aubergine these are aubergine is why sometimes when you cut it you take sometime long the air you change sometimes the color but it's still good this one are onions i uh, know i uh, sorry uh garlic this one uh Sorry, this one is uh, courgette. The courgette. This one is catfish, dry one, smoke. This one is celery for my garden. I start of my garden, always I took my garden. This one are uh, onions. This one are uh, leek. I have in my freezer, I have a uh, yeah, green onion, but I'll put it at the last minute. This one, uh, fish, like a dry, salted, they call it, uh, um, in Angola we call it kashush. In here, it's like salted, it's salted, fermented, salted. This is like a uh, cat, no, no, no catfish. Uh, chilapia. But they are small, the tiny is like a tiny. This is like this, I took just the, the, the head off. See, they're tiny. I'll fry them and put some tomato, fresh tomato, just to eat with the pondo aside. You can do the meat, you can do meat, you can do chicken, anything you have. Or you can do like a, a other salt fish in, in Angola and Portuguese, we call it. Um, Bacalhau, you can do the bacalhau. The bacalhau is cold fish, salted, cold, salted fish, cold. Yeah, you can do it that one with any fish you have, anything you have, or fried fish, anything. This is that tomato, fresh tomato, and mix it. You see this color because I mix it with 
with the aubergine just to fry to put like a sauce in this fish and this one uh the aubergine they all this you see i mix them because i like to mix some of them and the other them i'll leave them to have a chunky unlike in my cassava i like to see the chunky uh, stuff i put in it but not really chunky because i cut them thinly they're, they're really really small yeah but this one i blend them now let us put a a thing inside whoa 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 but normally it's a lot we don't cook like that i'm doing this because i bought a lot sometimes aubergine uh, when i i save them in freezer sometimes it, it, come, it come like a soggy i don't like it i like to cook with it like a fresh yeah now we will put i'll leave this pondu for at least 30 minutes boiling without mixing all these even the fish and i forgot the style of it you cook with the with the chick with the pondu is peanut ground peanut like a raw ground peanut is what yeah there's another style you can cook with it or you can cook without it or you can cook with a roasted peanut depending on you how you like me i like both but not to the roasted i like both without without a uh, peanut i like with that peanut as well okay these are black pepper i'll put in it these are palm oil red oil yeah i don't i think you see my cooking i think this is my third kitchen now cooking i don't use uh, like a mm, i can use powder seasoning if they're like a, a dry one a team or oh this one coriander i see that is a coriander is leaf or oh, or oh, like a rosemary or oh, it is a lot but uh, them coming on a cube, a cube like a maggi or this no i don't use it because i see like it's only salt anyway but i don't condemn people who cook with it i like to cook like a originality like my mom used to cook like a bag when there were no cube even though everything grow everything like a, a we have like a growing things but i prefer that it's why sometimes you don't see like a this jumbo or I, I, I don't condemn people who cook with it. If people cook, I can eat. But me, myself, no, I don't buy it. I don't cook with it. I cook that in just natural, fresh things. Thank you very much. Let us now put uh, the cooker on. Yep. Now let us wait. Uh, one of lady, because I say I like to learn. I never cease learning. Someone uh, was cooking. Some people they said they will cover it, even though I put it in a big pot because a pondu when you cook it, ooh, it will be mess everywhere. But one lady said it's good to leave it open because to take off the smell of a raw, raw cassava, raw pondu, raw sakasaka, raw kizaka. To take the smell of it, leave it. Uh, leave it open into when i put everything then i can cover but for now i'll leave it open for even for 13 40 minutes or 30. thank you very much you see everything i'm cooking with thank you Ooh. thank you it'll be yummy it'll be yummy 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 thank you very much Uh, 
Yeah, now it's 30 minutes. Our fondue is boiling. Now I want to add the aubergine, the one I left. I say that I want a, a bit of it. Now I'm adding them. Yeah. I'm adding now leek. I like to have some bits inside the, my pot. I'm adding, oh no, so, yeah, let me put uh, peanuts, powder nut, I don't want it, but I think it's enough. I left some, yeah, that one I think is enough. I don't want too much. It's fine. Yeah. Now onions. Onion. Yeah. I put already onion when I, I blended the one I put before, but because I would like the bit, I would like some chunky bit is why. I like the chunky bit to put it after. So the celery, the celery and and the garlic we go after. Let me leave it for another ten minutes because this pondu will take will take to be ready. It will take one hour, one hour and a half. Yeah, to be complete, it will take long. You need the patience. Then, ten minutes after ten minutes, I don't know, ten minutes, then I'll put the oil and i put the fish and everything. Yeah. These are fish. No, uh, mm, the salted fish, I say I want to fry them. I fry them <laughs> because they are too small and too light. When you fry them, they twist. Yeah, I fry them off camera. Yeah. Now I will, I want to fry the tomato in my blender, the tomato and aubergine. Yeah, I put tomato and aubergine on it. Okay. The pondu still boiling. <laughs> Adding some water in my blender just to take some. I don't need a lot of tomato in this in this sauce. Of. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much. Fish and the salt, but I'll put a little bit now. But in the Kizaka, I didn't put the the sauce yet. Yeah, the the salt yet. I will. Yeah, I just put it on 
Yeah, the Sprite and the tomato and aubergine and some green onion on the top. This I uh, cut um no catfish, I like to say catfish all the time. Uh, tilapia, tilapia, dry tilapia. Yeah, in Angola we call it uh, kakusu. Yeah, it's sorted. Yeah, soak it in water, one hour. Just It's not really not a sorted like a cold fish, no. Like a cold sorted fish, no. This one is not like that, is it? Because it's a light, it doesn't take a lot of salt as well. Yeah, the fry is already. We go with the fondue. You can eat it with rice, you can eat it with fufu. This one I mixed with other my family. They would not like this one. Yeah, then they like, they would like a meat. I did the meat as well. The same sauce, I did like a aubergine and tomato, fresh tomato. Yeah. Mm. The one was in my blender, just separate them one of it with the meat, one with the, with the dry fish. Thank you very much. Now we are going to to Pondu, to Kizaka. Let's leave over it. Now we are going to Kizaka. Zaka, yeah. I didn't touch the the. I didn't touch the kizaka. Yeah, I didn't mix it. I just put it like that. I put oil. I think it's enough. No oil bottle. Yeah, red oil. Now I want to put my fish. Now it's time to put uh, this one, dry fish. Mm, there's a bone there. Mm, I hate the bone. I so yeah. Then after dry fish, now we are putting the fresh fish. Yep. Fish. I'm not mixing yet. I'm not mixing. And I'm, I'm putting my sorry, my hand are clean anyway. I'm putting my garlic. After garlic, I'll put these are green onion they were in the freezer. These are celery. I need just to put now celery and garlic and leave it for 10 minutes or 20 minutes when i come to turn them then i'll put these ones and and black pepper i'll just put it in here yeah thank you very much uh, now let us turn mm -hmm. we're mixing now now is the time for me to put yeah time for me to put the celery and green onion yeah because this one they will not take long i put it when it's not, it will not taking longer than the pondu or the cassava leaf or sakasaka or sombe or kizaka is ready yeah Adding water in this bowl just to take some. Yeah. You see the chunk I was selling, uh, the chunk of aubergine. You can see them. If you see some pieces, you see they are they are fish. Or the catfish, they're not the, the they're not the vegetable. They wanna put the um, aubergine, uh, celery. No, no, aubergine, cucumber. No, you can't see them. 
you can see them because i cut them small which is why i like to blend and leave some just to put it like a little bit chunky but you can't even see even though i say chunky but you cannot see them see my hot water in my kettle <laughs> my traditional hot water if you check my my other cooking, you will see where I'll explain why I put hot water when my pot is already boiling. I don't put cold water. If you go to my other, to my YouTube, you will check, I'll explain everything why. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now we need just 20 minutes for catfish to be ready. The fish is already, the fresh fish is already cooked, but the catfish needs to be cooked properly as well to, to, to take off the smell of, of uh, raw and my vegetable as well, the one I put now. Thank you very much. <laughs> we continue cooking. Then we'll serve. Oh, I see that is nice. Yes, the way it looks mm -hmm. and the smell as well. Mm. Thank you. Our kisaka now is ready. Yeah, I turn off. Ready now. No, look. Oh, oh, so nice. The smell of it. Whoa, whoa, the smell. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. What I was saying is, I think in two hours, I put <laughs> new. And in the beginning, I put a lot of water as well as waiting into the whole water. Uh, reduce. Ah, so nice. The rice. White rice. You can eat the rice. White rice. You can eat your fufu. You can eat your uh, mm, plantain. Boiled plantain or five plantain, depend. Mm. Me, I love uh, fried plantain. Plantain, no boy. Oh, so lovely. Oh, so good. Smelling divine. look so lovely yeah this for the table for my husband I put on the table I wait for him you will eat only around the four or something these are meat for my <laughs> for my other family my family is a uh, dry fish Salted, but I don't want to try them now because they're too small and I'm working with one hand as well. I have to eat it with my hand because they have a, a, a lot of uh, bones. You have to eat it with your hand. Um, these are chili. They have said we don't eat a lot of chili. This chili, I'll show you this one. Yeah, I blend it. There is a um, ginger, garlic, onion, uh, sco scotch bonnet, a uh, chili, uh, and just blend it. When I finish to blend, I put in one pot. I put the oil on a. I heat the oil a bit more hotter. 
then I put on the top like a little bit like a fried but I didn't fry it's nice and I squeeze some lemon yeah some lemon inside okay, very nice yeah I put it in this bottle okay. but when we eat normally I do cook with it with a chili but the only like a one or two but I won't squeeze but we put all the time the chili on the table Pepper or pili pili or shindung. <laughs> In Angola we say shindung or picante. Yeah, we just put on a table. We eat it and uh, put on a table and put a little bit on your plate and eat. We just we don't cook with a lot of uh, spicy. But I like if someone cook, I like it. Like I had my friend from Sierra Leone. Oh, she cook a lot of spicy. My children, when they used to eat the rice, hmm, they started eating the chili from the lady. When she cook rice, you see them eating, and you will see <laughs> the the nose running. Sorry, the nose running. Say, oh, mommy, it's so nice. But say, why are you eating? Because it's nice. It's not... Oh, yeah. But they me myself now. Thank you. Let me try. Very, very nice. And the chili is so hot. <laughs> mm. I will speak a lot because I'm not good eating chili and speaking. Thank you very much. Very, very tasty. Mm. I, can, uh, I wish you can smell the the smell, the taste of pundu, kisaka, saka, saka. Mmm, so bad. Mm, very nice. Mm. Very, very tasty. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment. Tell me how you cook it in your country. Which way you cook it. We cook it to mix with the meat, the meat. Beef. Um, it's good when I see on on, uh, on the other channel. I do see people mixing. Yeah, it's good as well. But we cook like that. I'm showing the way we cook up. Not saying that one is bad. No. One day I'll try them as well. It's very nice. Very very nice. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much trying with me thank you for being patient and watching please comment share and tell me how you cook and how you call it in your country sombe how you call it kizaka how you call it wow tell me how you call it your country we call it kizaka Pondu, sombe sakasaka um matamba what is Matamba? Matamba, I think, is a Kyokwe in Angola. Mushiku, they say Matamba. Mushiku, Saurim, Bulunda, North, Bulunda, Sur. Matamba. Thank you very much. I love you all. Je vous aime beaucoup. Na mi penda sana. Na lingibino mingi. Eulisiamu. Thank you. Bye-bye.